Hello everybody, my name is David Pierce and this is the video for feature one of the five features that I've created in Excitebike. For this feature, we'll be focusing on the crash work which focused on the collision between player and AI. As you can see before you on the screen, the Trello card easily goes over basic information of what the crash work does what it is, and how it affects the player experience in the game. In creating this, I created the colliders for the players and AI. I coded collision that stops the player completely when he collides against an AI, and it was tested. To show and prove that this feature correctly works, we're going to go into Unity and actually play the scene that was created to show. Now, as you can see, I'll be playing as the player model here, which can move up and down between lanes. And we're going to move on to the actual AI blocks, which will stop the player completely. If you're playing the game, all you have to do is just run into them. And for a short time, while holding the button, you won't be able to move. But you'll be able to continue on. Stop for a short amount of time and continue going. Stop for a short amount of time. Continue going. Stop for a short amount of time. Continue going. And that kind of collision set the basis for what each asset does. This collision code, however, was not made separately as the other assets. The code was made under the player's movement code, which was made by another student. I will show that now. And as you can see here, the original code was actually made by Levi Roberts. I do not want to claim his work, and his work actually helped me to keep previous assets used in the game. I have simply updated his work with a collision code that allows the player to stop when coming into contact with an AI that's tagged as an enemy. We'll have show you the countdown timer. If start time is equal to true, time elapsed, delta time. Does a simple countdown of three. And then on the collision, which is void on collision enter, as you can see here, speed is turned to zero. And after three seconds, you can move again. To show that this works correctly, again, I'm going to hit play, I'm going to move up, hit the first one, a few seconds will pass, hit the second one, I can move up and down to get around the object, and then I can keep moving. Thank you.